It's one of the wonderful things about St. Dominic is that peer ministry. That is the idea that it's not just priests giving homilies or preaching, as wonderful as that can be to inspire and encourage, and of course the sacramental life, but in order to truly live our faith, in order to truly have Christ in our lives and share Christ with others, it's got to come from us. I was first there when I was ordained in 2007 and was there for almost two years to 2009. And then I had the opportunity, I was asked to come back and be pastor, which I've been pastor from 2013 to now the present. It was always memorable. We tried new things. I arrived in 1995. I believe I left in 2013. So I was there 18 years ago. I mean, it's an incredible spiritual vacuum. At St. Dominic's, I began ministering there in 1965, and I help with the Spanish speaking ministry now. Taxis pull up with people, people walk into, uh, come and pray there. People who obviously are not Catholics, uh, people who just come down on the street. Hardly anyone passes by there without coming in and visiting the Blessed Mother. The joy of the gospel fills our hearts and our lives with the encounter of Jesus Christ. And that really struck my heart. And I said, yes, Lord, that's exactly who I want to be, this is exactly who we ought to be here, and this is what we've been for these 150 years, a place of joy. But what is one line, one succinct way of connecting our Dominican way of life and the wonderful mottos that we have, like to contemplate and give the fruits of contemplation or veritas, how to articulate that in a particular way, a beautiful, if you will, vision for what we do at St. Dominic's, and it's this, to radiate the joy of the gospel in the heart of the city.